What's going on? What's going on, folks? I want to make this video for anybody who's thinking about getting a cyber truck or that already has a cyber truck and you're looking to switch your insurance companies or to go ahead and get insurance on your vehicle. Geico just basically announced that they no longer will be covering the Tesla cyber truck. And it's many different reasons why they're dropping it. One of the reasons is because they're saying that the truck has a whole lot of problems, a whole lot of issues that's constantly going on with it. And to repair these vehicles is very expensive. So for a basic minor accident, something like that you may have, who knows what it may cost for a minor repair. And because of this, as well as the fact that the way that the vehicle is made, it can do a lot of damage to a standard vehicle. So if you're driving a cyber truck and say you was to hit a standard, say, fiberglass um, vehicle, even a slow collision could completely destroy the other vehicle, which means that the insurance company is going to know they're going to be on the hook for basically totaling out another vehicle that was involved in an accident with a cyber truck. So because Geico decided to drop coverage of his vehicle, cyber truck owners are going to find themselves in a, a kind of a tight situation where they're looking to insure their vehicle, which means normally what happens is when one insurance company decides to drop coverage of a vehicle, you'll have other insurance companies that may follow suit. Or you'll have other companies that will cover that vehicle, but because the owners of these vehicles won't have a lot of options to go with to insure this vehicle, what they're going to find is that the insurance on these vehicles are going to be probably sky high. So, of course, if you have enough money to, you know, afford the vehicle and afford the high insurance you may be paying, hey, go ahead, do what you're going to do. But for somebody who really wants to have this vehicle, but not really financially prepared to pay out so much money every month just for the insurance, they may want to reconsider buying this vehicle, or at least what you may want to do is call your insurance company before you buy it and to get a quote on what they will charge you to cover it, or you may find that they won't cover it at all. But just for a PSA, Geico just announced that they're going to stop coverage on the cyber trucks, which means if you own one of them, most likely when you go to renew it, they're going to tell you that they're not going to cover and you're going to have to look for a do insurance provider for it. And if you're thinking about buying one, like I said, I would definitely call first to make sure that the insurance company that you're using is going to cover it and also get a quote on how much they're going to charge you to have this vehicle. All right. Please check out our other helpful videos. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.